Welcome to episode nine of the Nearer Car Engine Project. And in this episode, and it's getting very close now, I'm going to sort out two things. I'm going to make an exhaust system, which is going to go off down here somewhere. And if it's a fuel tank, which is going to go here somewhere to make some kind of subframe or something. And I'm going to finish off fiddling with the carb and I've got to fit some kind of um, throttle lever somewhere here maybe roughly not quite sure um so that's all i've got to do when i've done that then it's pretty much ready to start so i think the first thing i'll do is tackle the fuel tank so i'm going to tackle the fuel tank and my starting point is this and this as it says on there is a british seagull fuel tank um it's made out of copper i don't know what age it is it could be 40s or 50s it's the right sort of thing starting point isn't it um, it's got a nice alley cap it's got a nice brass fuel tap on there i've got the line which connects it to the carb it's all all marries up feels a bit stiff i'm not sure if it actually works <laughs> of course it doesn't work don't be daft um so what i'm going to do is at the very least I'm going to take all this crud off it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. I might just leave that. It's not an awful lot of work to unsolder this and hammer out the ends just for cosmetic reasons. So I think I'll just leave that. So the first thing I'm going to do, take all these parts off and um, probably get some paint stripper on it, strip off the paint and see what it looks like when it's all cleaned up. So that's next. So I've used a fair amount of elbow grease and I've got this looking reasonable, I've taken all the paint off. Uh, you can see it's got a few dings and dents in there. It's got some fairly meaty dents in there, which add a bit of character, but some dents underneath here, which are a bit irritating and because this is where the clamps go. And what's happened is the thing's been smacked and the clamp has bent into it. And if I put this straight edge along there, you can see that there's a dirty great big gap so i quite like to try and pull that out a bit somehow um probably going to leave that you know at the end of the day it's just a tank i mean it'll work with the denting but it'd be quite nice to pull that out so the clamp works a bit better possibly even that bit i'll see how i get on with that bit so i've got a plan for that and uh hopefully that should should be evident what that plan is So I've had a crack at getting the bulk of that dint out now. So it's now, I don't know, a mil, half a mil, significantly better. That's fine, obviously still got ripples, but that's gonna be all covered with the clamp anyway. So it'll just clamp nicely now. So that's that's it really. So all I think I need to do is just 
go over it again and just generally polish it all up and then that is on the shelf and the next job will be the uh, exhaust. Right, I think I'm about done with this tank now. So I've polished it up a bit more, a bit more elbow grease. And it's gonna basically sit about there. So I'm gonna make some kind of subframe that comes out of here somehow, I'm not quite sure how yet. And it's gonna sit about there, I think. Um, so I can put that to one side now because the next thing I need to work on is the exhaust, which is gonna sit sort of about there. So I've got this one and a half inch tube which will slot up underneath there. I need to trim it off. And that's going to go down into um, a long tube. I've got some tube here, a massive bit of tube. Chop chop a lot uh, a section off that. Uh, weld on some end caps, uh, weld a pipe going into it, weld a little pipe going out the back and that's it. Uh, and that will have brackets and that will connect to a subframe as well. So that's the next step. Make this exhaust system and then when we've done that, we're getting perilously close. The only other thing that I do need to do is to set up somewhere where I'm trying to find it, where I'm going to have this little um, throttle lever for the carb. That's going to go probably around here somewhere, I'm not quite sure. Somewhere around there. Anywhere, anywhere in that vicinity will do. So, right, let's get cracking with the exhaust. Right, I've been making some progress on this exhaust. I've now cut my main main chamber, not exactly an expansion chamber, but it's a chamber. Uh, trimmed this top and bottom, cut this hole in here, cut the hole in here, made this tiny little exit pipe, and I've cut these two end plates. So these will go on here, I'm gonna weld these on. Uh, so then now I need to basically go uh, and tack it all together, make sure it's all good. And then when weld it all up, I'm also planning to put a little little port underneath here so I can basically clean it out because these two stroke pipes just fill with gunge sometimes. So the next next step is to tack it all up, make sure it's good, and then weld it all up. So the exhaust is all now welded up. It's turned out all right. So the next thing we need to do is to make some kind of subframe to support this kind of wobbles around a bit in that hole and support the tank. So what I'm thinking is use some more of this box section. I have a subframe that bolts on the back of this cradle. I have two pieces that come out like this. I've got two pieces. Like that and like that. Sort of three and a half inches outside diameter. And then I'll have little feet on the bottom of the exhaust which will bolt on there. And then the tank, I'll have bits coming up here and then the tank will bolt on sort of like that. It has to be high enough such that it gravity feeds the carb, so it might have to be sort of all the way up here somewhere. Not sure whether the yeah the camera's getting that all the way up there, something like that. And um, yeah, so let's let's see how that goes. Make a frame, bolt it all on. Getting very close now. Quick progress update. So I've fabricated. And welded this bracket on the bottom of the exhaust chamber and this has got a couple of holes in there and what's going to happen is that i'm going to uh, make a little subframe here so this piece is going to be drilled uh, and bolted through through there and then with the exhaust in situ i can put these on and these will bolt on there like that um, so a bit more welding to do. When that is all sorted out, I'm going to drill and tap these side bits. Uh, I'm going to have some pieces that come up up here and the tank will go there. So keep on saying it, but getting close now. But not quite there yet. A bit more progress. So now we've got the subframe. So as you can see, it's being welded up and now the exhaust can bolts or yeah, bolts to the to the underside of it. So all that remains now is, well not all that remains, but the next step is to put on some sort of vertical struts there so that the fuel tank can mount just there. Um, I need to get some more argon before I do that. So that'll be the next step. Uh, stick this on, but also um, I'm going to paint that because that's just going to go rusty if I leave it for more than 10 minutes. 
because it's bare steel so I'm going to paint that in black so that's the next step. Now I know I keep on saying we're getting very close but we really are now so I've made this this subframe which is going to hold the tank and the exhaust pipe bolts on down here so I will now reassemble or assemble everything actually I've not actually tried it make sure it fits and um, that will probably be it so assemble away So there you have it. We have one exhaust system, fabricated, mounted, fuel tank off a Seagull outboard motor. I said early in, earlier that it was copper. It's not copper, of course, it's brass, obviously, because it's brassy. Um, I was gonna mount this somewhere. I can't think where to mount this. I'm gonna have to come up with a cunning master plan about five o'clock in the morning. That's when none happens. I don't know where it's gonna go, somewhere. We'll, find, we'll figure it out. So that's all for now, I think. Um, this is episode nine. The next episode, ten, is going to be one of those will it start type um, videos. Hopefully it will start. By then, I will have sorted out a fuel line. Uh, I would have sorted out a throttle. Uh, I would have cleaned out the tank. There's no doubt it's full of gunge. Um, got it all set up. Probably would have painted that. And we'll try and start it. So, um until next week's or next whenever's thrilling episode. That's all for now.